so back again Oop. video number three um, I've been working a bit today uh, I've been stumped by Cody and I finally managed to uh, get her to work properly uh, as you can see she's installed on on here um, not not through the retro pie installation but through the normal installation of adding it to the OS. Um, the RetroPie installation of Kodi doesn't work because it's an unsupported version um, by Tinker OS because it's too new. Um, so uh, it's just to show that I do have Kodi within my ports menu now. And I also have Cody installed on the main carousel. Um, and there we go. She's in there. She looks very nice on the carousel. If I hit launch, as it should, load Cody up. Well, I am attached to my NASes, so it's trying to read my NASes um, just to show that I do have some movies here um, so just to show that it works and audio is coming out content in as you can see up top there it's reading my NAS I have no add-ons installed yet but uh, so far everything seems to be working fine with it it's uh, it's playing as it should um, to be working the only thing I can't figure out at the moment is the controller my NES controller my USB one and my uh, NES 30 Pro Bluetooth both don't seem to function within Kodi even though it's got the uh, settings there to be able to to choose controller um, doesn't function. I guess it's something that I'll I'll work on to get that working. Um, so, as you can see, it is working, and it's uh, something else to to tick off my to do list. <laughs> 